Hello, Carver Rams. I hope that each one of you and your family is doing well. This is an unprecedented time, a time that we've not experienced before. And so it is extremely important that we continue to work together to make it through this process. I know that it's very difficult for you, but it's also difficult for your parents and guardians. Having you at home every day is probably a challenge. I know what it's like to have you here with me every day, but I do miss each and every one of you. I'm going to give you just a little information to try to clear up some misconceptions and some information that you uh, may not be clear on. Uh, over the next seven weeks, you will be receiving assignments through your Google Classroom. If you do not have access to a device, I have provided you a link on the Carver Remote Learning Plan on how you can borrow one from the school. So there, the process we're using is that most of your work will be in Google Classroom. But some of your work, for those of you who do not have access, will be uh, a packet. Now, we don't officially start posting assignments until Monday the 13th. So the work that you are receiving this week was prepared by the district. Our school district is working with the State Department of Education, and so some directives have been issued by our state superintendent. Our school superintendent is allowing teachers this week, April um, 6th through 10th, to prepare assignments for you. So they are all home working diligently to prepare assignments for you so that those assignments will be online. If you go into your digital uh, classroom that each of your teachers have set up, then you are going to see Google Classroom assignments. But I also want you to be aware of our school website. Our school website, especially for parents, will be your source of information. As a parent, you cannot enter a teacher's Google Classroom, only your child. So they would have to log in in order for you to see. And because I know our kids don't always tell you the truth, I've asked the teachers to also post the, those same assignments to their website page so you will have access to seeing what your child should be working on. There are three options for our students as we move into this process. First, all of our seniors, and I know they're concerned, if you are a senior and you have completed all required courses for graduation. If you have 24 approved credits, then you are done. Your assignments and your work is complete. However, if you would like to increase your scores in individual classes, then there are assignments posted that you can do that to continue to increase your, um, your grades. I would encourage you to do that because grades are posted to your transcript. These grades will be. Once those grades are posted to your transcript, they are there for life. And you will always be calling back to the school for a copy of your transcript. Now is the time to increase your GPA. And this is for all students, ninth through 11th graders, and especially my 11th graders. Please use this as an opportunity to increase your GPA because this will allow your transcript to reflect a very high GPA as you apply to colleges in the fall. This is the only time that a six, a nine week grade will be impacted on your transcript or have such an impact on your transcript. So I encourage you to make honor roll this nine weeks because it is crucial. Um, I'm gonna offer an incentive for those students who do. You know, we didn't get to have our spring fling, so we will have our 
AB Honor Roll Party in the fall for all students. And it is going to really, really be fun. So you want to work really hard to try to make Honor Roll for all of our students that have AB Honor Roll for this last nine-week grade, which will be your transcript grade. You're going to have a wonderful fall activity. I've not thought of a name for it, for it yet, but I will. So the options for all of our students is that if your nine week grade is a passing grade and you are okay with that, then you're done. Um, if you don't do any additional work, then your grade will remain the same. If you have a D or C in a D or F in any class, you will have to do additional assignments. That is not optional. So all students who have D's or F's, your teachers will be in personal contact with you because you must complete two assignments each week. Um, let me also remind you that there will be no summer school. There will be no summer programs. There will be no other opportunity for you to make up any work. If you do not earn all of the credits that you need now, you will have to remain in the same reach class again next year because the only other option will be night school which will start in august so you need to make sure that you are doing what you need to do right now stop playing games all day stay off that cell phone all day and do some school work doing those assignments and getting them turned in will make a difference so please do that I also want to remind my seniors that are enrolled in great results, you need to finish all of your work. If you do not, you will not graduate. There will be no other opportunities for you to do that. That work must be completed by May 22nd. We will use the very last week to verify any student who is not currently eligible for graduation and send home a letter to you. We are going to have a graduation ceremony. I just do not know the date. That will not be released until the state superintendent allows Dr. Herring to set the date. But you must finish your work. If you do not finish that work, you will graduate in 2021. There will be no other graduations until 2021. So please get your work done. You have access to your teachers, you have access to Ms. Lake, and to your counselors. So please utilize that. On the district website, I mean on our school website, you will see a cell phone number, a email address, and office hours for every teacher and every administrator in this building. So you can call that number during those hours and you will have access to those individuals. I encourage you all to please, please work hard. I know this week is a little confusing because they ask us to send out a robocall for you to pick up packets, but you only need to pick up packets if you do not have access. I have asked your teachers to post those same assignments into Google Classroom. So later today, or tomorrow, please check your Google Classroom and those assignments should be posted there. So if you don't, you do not have to come to the school to pick up a packet if you have that. In the future, if you do not have access, you will once again need to come to the school to pick up your packet. I am available for you day and night as always. You have my cell phone number, text me. There is no dumb question. You, it's better to get an answer and get the correct answer than to assume and then you have the wrong information. So do not hesitate to call me or contact me, text message or email at any time. I am working from home mostly, but I am coming to the school. The school is closed. We are not allowed to enter it. But um, as soon as we get more information, I will update you. Please be blessed and be safe. 
stay in your lane. Continue to pray and look out for each other. I will provide you with video uh, announcements as often as possible. You know I don't like this, but I do miss talking to you. All of our last name is Carver, and I want you to be safe. You know, you know I love you. And if there's anything I can do, please do not hesitate. Have a blessed week.